guys, I am Francesca Nightgrove and welcome back to Mass Effect. Now in this video, we are finally going to rescue Liara. I know, it's been a long time coming, so let's take Garrus and Rex. And let's head to the, um, let's head to the ruins, shall we? Yeah. Let's go and do that. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Right, thank you, Joker. Uh, let's head over towards the um, underground complex then. And the only way to do that is following this should be easy enough. If I don't hit a rock and go flying into the lava, because that's how light this blooming thing is. Right. I have a feeling something's gonna happen up here. Whee! Just flying! <laughs> oh! Oh, what's this? Oh, of course, it's a Geth dropship. Right, so I've already destroyed one. Let's do this. Go around again. And again. Ooh, don't go into the lava. Oh, this is a slow, slow death. Oh, look, here we go. Now we can continue on our way. Right, so what's up here, I wonder? Hmm, what is up here? I genuinely do not know. Oh, look. Only a fool punches a knapsack in the mouth. He should sneak around and pull its tail. Thanks for the advice, Rex. I've got this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. As I said, I've got this under control. She says that she nearly flips the Mako. <laughs> right. So. I haven't actually seen what's up there, so I'm just going to check it out. Ooh, goodness gracious me. This thing handles like a drunk rhino, seriously. Right, so there is actually nothing here. Okay, so that was a wasted journey. Let's head back to the Mako. And hopefully not flip it this time. <laughs> Although that might be a bit of an issue. See, I just crash into a pile of rocks. <laughs> I'm terrible at driving this thing. And there's another flip for the record. Right, let's get rid of you. Uh, don't think there's anything to collect here. So let's carry on. Ooh! Oh my gosh, and I'm stuck on the uh, remains of the turret. Okay, so let's uh, continue on. Oh look, so much gas. Right, now time to put them out their misery. Hopefully not all of them have, uh, you know, grenades launches and other things. Oh my gosh, I can't get out because I was stuck on the wall. Of course I was. Come on then, let's put everyone out of their misery, shall we? It's the easy- Oh Jesus, something flew right past me. Right, was that everything? I 
think that might have been everything, but I'm just going to check everywhere, just to make sure. Just going to take these. Hmm, I'm still running, so there is some bad guys still around. Is there... Yeah, there's someone here. Hey! Rocket Trooper! Let's put you out of your misery! There you go! Ooh, easy decryption! Let's do this! Ooh, okay, that was a bad move by me! <gasps> Another bad move, great! There you go! I'll take these! Let's open this! Let's open this gate. However, I feel like that's the gate that's heading in the wrong direction, so I need to check out uh, this place a bit more. Right, so taking that I need to explore this place more into account, I have a feeling that I was meant to drive the Mako through here. Okay. Right, is there any guests around here? Nope, but there's an upgrade kit, so I'll take this. Thank you. Right, let's head over to the other uh, building, shall we? And see uh, what's there. Right. Uh, so I guess there's going to be one guess in one side, but I don't know what side. I think it might be this one. Nope. I'm safe this side. And there's absolutely bugger all in here. So, yeah. Never wasted journey. But anyway into the other side of the building we go because we need to open this gate here right here we go ah there you are right let's do that hello he's right in front of you there you go easy decryption Okay, I'll take those. I uh, think that's everything, so let's open the gate. That's it. Right, and now we can get back into the Mako and carry on our merry way. And I think Garrus was stuck. Right, so let's head back to the Mako. And again, let's try not to flip it. However, easier said than done, apparently. So let's continue. Uh, just checking to see if there's actually anything off to the sides that uh, I always neglect to uh, check out. Those are the guests taken care of. However, I think there might be more. So, I'm just going to take care of them. Yeah, they're up there. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to take care of them and then carry on. That's one down. Let's continue. That's the second one. Let's go.
And that's a lot more down. Right, let's uh, continue on this way. Soon we will be closer to getting to Liara. Uh, are there any guests up here? I have a feeling there might be. Hmm, perhaps down here? Yes, there are. Well, that was easy! <laughs> I ended up running one of them over, but that was super easy. Right, uh, let's continue this way. And hopefully, we will almost be there. I say that. Uh... Jeez, there's death everywhere. Right, let's uh, continue on. Hopefully, now it's going to be too far. Oh my gosh, three and one. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. Ah, here we go. Now we have to continue on foot. Now it gets fun. Okay, that's the first bunch of guests sorted. On to the next part. And then... Looks like we are super close to where Liara is. So let's... Uh, oh my gosh, let's try not to get killed here. Gosh, it's, it's mayhem here. Right, uh, any guests left? Right, I think that's all of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I definitely think that's all of them now. So. I'm just uh, going to save here, uh, just in case my game decides to crash again. But hopefully not, hopefully uh, everything is good and dandy. Right, so let's continue on, because I, th I think we found the dig site for where Liara is. Yeah, well, I think this is where Liara is. Oh? What, what's going on? What's going on? Of course! When is there not guess? <laughs> well, here we go again.
Okay, that took longer than it should have. So now I'm just going to uh, have a look around to see if there's anything to loot. Uh, somehow I doubt it. But there's no harm in looking around. I always do this when I, when I know that there's like you know nothing I have to look around every single nook and cranny to see um, if indeed I am correct right so here we are in the uh, ruin and now we can find Liara hopefully it's easy There's more guests. Oh, what's this? Oh, Liara, what have you done? Right, time to carry on down into the ruin to find out what has Liara done. Right. Uh, hopefully it will be fairly simple to uh, rescue her. I hope so. Right. Hopefully we're down the bottom. Yeah, here we are. Uh, let's open this. Medigill, I'll take that. I know, I know what you mean Rex, but you could have moved, you know, so I could have got a better handling of the, that fight there. Just saying. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Uh. Hello there. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. We hear you. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? How did you get trapped? How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! I understand your predicament, but please stay calm. I'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. 
You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Fear not, Liana. I will save you. Right. Let's do this. We got them all. Let's uh, explore a bit. See what we can uh, get. Oh, see what's in here. Okay, two assault rifles. I'll take those. Uh, oh, there's something here. Uh, let's. Ooh, that was close. I'll take those ammo upgrades. Uh, what else? What else is worth taking? I wonder. Hmm. Right. Oh, no, 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 yes, yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes, 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 no, no, yes, no, yes. 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 Nope. Ah. Oh, yes. 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 I'm sorry, I had to do it like that, otherwise I would have forgotten the order. So, let's continue on and finally get Liara out of there. Hello, Liara! Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. Ah, you see, that's not important. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. how we get out of this place there is an elevator back in the center of the tower at least I I think it's an elevator it should take us out of here come on I, I still cannot believe all this why would the geth come after me do you think Benezia is involved Saren's looking for the conduit you're a Prothean expert obviously he wants you to help him find it the conduit but I don't know Was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. We need an escape plan. Come on, Joker. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Right, let's get us out of here. Hopefully we will. Oh, what's this? Uh, 
Uh, in case you haven't noticed, this ruin is coming down. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Accelerate, yes, it did. Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. And the doctor. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. Yeah, and I'm actually not giving her up. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her. And he always gets what he wants. Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. Oh boy, here we go. Again. Jesus Christ. Okay. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes. Hey, he did save us, you know. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Wait. Fifty years? Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only a hundred and six. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Hey, uh, I might know. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. How do you know this, exactly? I'm curious, I want to know. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. 
There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Right, so who came before the Protheans then? If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. I can help you. I can. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? The beacon on Eden Prime. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. That's fine. You can still help us, though. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. That's very true, Rex. So, Liara, welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate, or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Prothean's true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yes, we are. However, we'll talk later. We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yeah, go on, Joker. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. She wants to help us. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? Believe it or not, yes it was. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Thank you. Right, so, let's head back to the, uh, the galaxy map. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. 
Okay. Uh, from who? Is it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. From who? Is it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. Didn't exactly want to do this, but ah oh well. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Oh? Good. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. Infiltration units? You mean spies, yeah? You mean spies. Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. Oh, this sounds serious. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Right, okay. Thanks for the info. I will deal with it as soon as possible. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Right, so I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye!